You know, it's really interesting um, when you're working in construction and you start dealing with different um, sub trades and people are really experts in what they do. And you start talking to them and they start telling you about different aspects of their trade and you're like, wow, I, I never knew that. Um, and you can learn a lot. But then there's the people that generally their clients and you go into their home and uh, they have a job for you to do and they inevitably will come downstairs or wherever you're working and say, listen, I was watching this video yesterday and what the guy said to do was, and you're listening and like, you know, that's a real bad idea. No, 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 no. You've got to do this. And it's like, they have no idea. Um... And the person that they got the video from, obviously they had no idea either. And it becomes very frustrating because they think if I saw it on the internet, it must be true. And we all know that isn't true. However, I'm also talking to people. One of the great things about being a pastor is people kind of expect you to talk about things of faith. So it opens up a lot of doors. And um, it never ceases to amaze me how many times talking about things of faith and people will say, well, I saw this on the internet and, you know, and I'm like, wow, I mean, that's just not true. I mean, the Bible says this. And many times people will get offended and like vis visibly upset by bringing the scripture. And it's like, well, the Bible says this. Well, people don't want to hear it. Why? Because you know what? There's this, these philosophies out there that are really nice. And they, they sound really intelligent. They sound really smart. And they usually end up a meme on Facebook or TikTok or Instagram or whatever. And they read these little, these little things and like, wow, that sounds so good. But it's so not true. See, in Acts chapter 17, I think it's verse 11, where um, Luke says that the Bereans were even more honorable than the Th Thessalonians because they earnestly listen to what Paul had to say, then search the scriptures to see whether what he said was true. See, we're living in a day and age where people um, have so much information given them so often in so many different directions that people have st stopped thinking, stopped thinking critically, stopped studying the scriptures for themselves, asking themselves, is what I'm hearing, does this match up with the word of God? And we need to do that. We need to get back to becoming critical thinkers. We need to get back to questioning. We need to get back to challenging. Because the Bereans, they even challenged Paul. I mean, Paul was Paul was pretty, pretty astute. Um, he was the, kind of on top of the game, not just his game. And yet they studied the scripture because that is our final reference point for truth. The church today is struggling it's struggling a lot of um a lot of ways but one of the reasons is we've allowed the wisdom of the world the philosophies of this world to take us captive because they sound nice because they make us feel comfortable they make us feel good um when god says i don't want you to feel good i want you to have joy um, and have the feelings come out of truth, not out of something that's just going to pacify you for the moment. I was talking to someone the other night and uh, said, man, I just thought we'd have a light conversation. And I said, you know, um, sometimes the foundation of light conversation is the heavy work we put in the foundation. And that's the studying the scriptures. That's the saying, what is God calling us to do? What is God showing us? And sometimes God is showing us a problem that needs to be fixed and we're stuck with a problem without the solution. And then we got to study the scriptures. What is it that God would have us to do? What is it that God would have us to say? What direction is God moving in that we need to follow? I'm encouraging you. Don't take my word for it. Study the scriptures to see whether what I say is true. And if it is, ask God to how you can apply it to your life. Hope that's an encouragement to you. Bye for now.